Hey. Hang on, hang on. It's on. <laughs> He's hey, let me get a green screen. Oh, oh I don't know how to do it. I never even go live anymore. I can green screen. Look, she's yes, she's singing it as well. So let's just uh, let's just apologise to everyone for last night because uh, yeah, I'm uh, so sorry, guys. That's okay. Vel was um, was out last night, living it up because she's in the top ten. She no, is I... South Yorkshire's answer to <laughs> Beyonce, uh, and she's now being a diva. That's where she is at the moment. <laughs> Oh bless! Right. No, look. See what's going on here, you see how it goes. You see how you see how I work. That's how I work. <laughs> you wouldn't not turn up for Graham Norton, would you? See, I'm just saying. Just saying. Oh, Miss, do it. Do me like that. It was out of my hands. Oh, look. Oh no. You're, you're all right. Look, get, just let everyone know who Lavelle is. Lavelle is currently in the top ten of R&B artists uh, in uh, in South York. That means you're the first South Yorkshire singer. To get to number one, is that correct? Um, oh yeah, of my ethnic minority, yeah. Of your ethnic minority, okay, I get that as well. I get that as <laughs> yeah. well. Now let me just explain how I met. I met Veli, uh, or Lavelle as she's called. Uh, I met her while I was on holiday. We didn't meet face to face. Uh, no, he didn't get back to me uh, that directly, guys. But uh, I, you know, I know, I know he's got some issues. Uh, we met on a live and just for like a five or ten minute couple of battles, um, and then we, I said. I need to have a chat to you. So uh, yeah, here we are, and it was it was the week before it was going to be number one. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was the week before it came out. Yeah, yeah. it was. I think it, it was, was on the Tuesday. I think, and you said yeah, on the Friday. Was. On on the Friday, you would know, and then and then on the Friday, it was number one. I saw it was number Insane. one. Is that right? Insane. Yeah. I mean, how how happy were you? Hang on, let me just tell you how people are. How this is going to work? So I'm going to start doing battles because we have to do battles while we're here as well. Uh, anything that's have you got a charity that you support, uh, Lavelle? Yeah, um, aut autism awareness. Brilliant. So let's do the battles and let me just tell, let everyone know what happens. So any gifts that are given in this live on my side. Uh, we'll be going to autism awareness, and if you obviously give Lavelle, then they can go. I'm I'm not sure what she wants to do this, but anything I'll you give to myself, I'll do the same. Yeah. I think it's I think it's good for tonight. So awareness. we'll have a chat, and we'll still keep doing the battles each time. So don't worry about telling people to gift or all that sort of stuff. Let's just deal with that. Uh, and then I'm going to ask Lavelle some questions. We're going to get to know a little bit more detail. Uh, this video is going to go, and she, I won't. She, I hope she's going to sing for us, but we'll see. I haven't asked that question yet. To be fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll uh, put this video on my, on YouTube later. Uh, and maybe she might get five extra new followers and a few more sales of a record. But you know what? Every little helps in the words of Tesco, doesn't it really, to be fair? So, Lavelle, so who's, who's yes. with you at the moment? Are you on your own in the, in the, in the yes, space? Yes, or... I am. I am. I'm all Bless the you. at the moment. So to talk me through this, uh, this um, little... Uh, screenshot that you got behind you what is that then so this is just an article that my local newspaper did about me it came out today um and it's just basically talking about baby boy yeah and you know we just had a little chat we had a little chat so they've done a little write up you wow, can find it on my instagram yeah guys well i i think you at some point in the very near future you're going to get a little blue tick next to your name because there can only be one of you there can only be one of you. Tell so, them again. That is how it should be. That's how it should be. So, guys, if you gift them, make sure you gift Lavelle only on that side. Um, as I say, it isn't anything professional that I do. Just a little bit of banter, a little bit of chat. Try and figure out where you came from, what your aim is, what your end goal in, in, in your career is, that sort of stuff. Uh, it's playing on my foot on my TV. Look, look. Literally, all I've got playing over and over again is that little video there, look. <laughs> I can just see at the corner of my eye. What were people thinking while you were dancing outside? Is it King's Cross Station? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was so funny because people were stood. Like, you can keep seeing my, my eyes, like, go away from the camera. because there I was saw people, that. There was people stood there going, you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> was, like, was the, mus was the music playing? Them. You get what I mean? You know, because they was cheering me on. So I didn't want to, like, ignore them and not at least give them, like, an acknowledgement glance kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Because I knew that, oh, yeah, anything, guys, anything, you know what to do anyway. 
yeah so it's yeah so good. it was insane but it were yeah it's always nerve-wracking when you've got to do something like that but do you know what it is oh, i don't care you. me i don't care I'm, i'll just do it like if whatever we need to do to get the shot i'll just do it do you know? <laughs> so when you when you were doing that was the music playing while you were dancing to it yeah it was like on a speaker like wow yeah. so everyone could hear it and you were like miming to it as well yeah i mean it, it is quite vibrant i mean did the, 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 you the i've got an orange hoodie that's very similar to that color to be fair that's got my logo on I should, actually you know what i should have wore that one tonight you know it's a bit hot Mama. Uh, so Mama. i couldn't watch that the orange hoodie. oh thanks guys so the only thing i keep the only thing i keep getting told is that it looks a bit like uh, just stop oil the orange the thing i'm going to stop traffic looks like what you know, the, my my hoodie, when I put my orange hoodie on, everyone goes, are you going to go and stop the traffic with that? you like, just stop oil. You know, the ones that walk in the street oh, and stop I the traffic. I hate when people say stuff like that, I do. Because <laughs> I just think, I I know I'm wearing a bright colour. I chose to put it on. Do Absolutely. You, you know what you want to wear. You know what you look good. I mean, it <laughs> looks, true, it I does, know. it highlights your skin tone. It highlights your the shape of your face. It's, it's, it's vibrant. That's what you want anyway. So, look, let's go back a little bit further. So, when did you first start to know that you could sing you know that you had a had a voice oh well I, d I don't even know that i can sing now to be honest thomas i just feel <laughs> like i'm kind of like fluking it a bit to be honest. Uh, um, have, you, no, have you got a bit of imposter syndrome then i'm no no, no i'm just i'm just making a joke <laughs> funny. you're a funny girl you are <laughs> um, no. Um, I'd say my dad's a music producer, so oh, you I've told me that, yeah. Grown up like, do you know what I mean, with music, like watching my dad in the studio and whatever. Yeah. Um, and then like I kind of just decided that this was what I wanted to do, like properly, like when I was like seventeen, eighteen, like around the time when I was going to uni. Was that um, your only vision? But when your dad was in the studio, were you always in the in the studio, like singing there and, and trying to, to get out and stuff? No, because I was I was just a little kid. Do you get what I'm saying? So obviously, like the studio was in my house. Do you get what I'm saying? Like when oh, I was wow, in my, house, okay, like, yeah. in my house, so obviously, yeah. like my dad will, will, will shout me, be like, "Vel, can you make a cup of tea? I'll go make a cup of tea. I'll take the cup of tea and I'll just sit there for a little bit, watch what's going on." Like, did you see Ooh, anyone? Did you see anyone like, famous like, come in and to sing their songs? Say that again, sorry. Did you see anyone famous, like, come in to sing their songs? Like, around that time, like, when my dad was like, it was like, you know, can you remember Channel U? Ch it does ring a bell, yeah. Like, back in the day, like, Channel U. My dad used to work with a lot of the people, like, on Channel U. Like, my dad did a lot, like, back in that kind of era. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Oh. But, yeah, so, obviously, because of that, yeah, I always just grew up around it. And then I just decided it was what I wanted to do. I don't know. I've just always felt like I just know that it's just what I'm supposed to do. Do you get what I mean? Like... I get that. But, but you know, when you were younger, when you were, like, when you were seven or eight, were you, you, were you always singing or is it only something that happened when you became a teenager? No, I was always singing, like, I feel like when you grow up in a black family, you just sing anyway, do you get what I mean? Like when you, In some like, white families, like, it's the same as well, you know, it is, like, it is the well, same. Well, literally, yeah. like, I feel like the like the Caribbean culture and that, like, you, gr you grow up, like, very, like, you almost are doing, like, routines and stuff with your cousins. Absolutely, and, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, things like that, like, so... Did you yeah, do no, it? Did you listen. did you go to like a gospel church or anything like that? You sing nana, in the choir. Yeah, like my nana used to take us to church. Um, like I only really used to go like Easter. Yeah, Easter the big events. Then. Yeah, yeah, but like she used to take us to church, and yeah, like everyone's just always just like sung or danced or just well, just you, summit. You, do you know what I mean? You the loudest in church. No, actually. <laughs> 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 no, no. If you saw if you saw my family, um but like with me, with me, you'd think I'm the quiet one. No way, really. <laughs> are they all are they oh so okay, your dad your dad's um just on a side by the way, I am interviewing a record producer from Los Angeles tomorrow night. Oh sick, sick. A guy a guy called Lee Lee View, I think his name is, but I, I did the same with him. I went live with him just randomly and he was in Los Angeles in his little studio and I said Oh, I'm interviewing a, a music girl on Wednesday. I said, "Are you free Friday?" I said, "I can I can speak to you then." And he said, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, no problem. I'll come and have a chat to you. No problem like that." I was like, "Ooh, 
It's like music week this week. Music week all week. It's oh great. yeah, because you don't always normally always do music, do you? You do other stuff as well. I do. I do some sad stuff as well, you know. So it's all sometimes about abuse and about uh, mental health and all that sort of stuff. So it's a bit of everything. Sometimes it's nice to get the the mix of the the fun with the emotional as well but you know yeah. we can be emotional too don't worry but it'll be emotional happy hopefully emotional yeah, happy so so how old are you if you don't mind me asking Lavelle I'm 28 I asked you that as well 28 I mean you look 1920 if I look Thank at that video you, you look <laughs> maximum 20 28 Thanks. Thanks, wow <laughs> Everyone's in my life saying that you're God very bless, confident. Yeah. And you know what? You've got to call a spade a spade, haven't you? I don't mean that in, in any particular way as a, because you're black. I mean, you know, a spade a spade. It's weird <laughs> just to say it. When I said that, isn't it weird how you have to think what you say now when you say it? You think, I can't, you can't say that. <laughs> oh, oh I'm God. sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Okay. Anyway, you saw me when I didn't have my microphone and my headphones. I was in a little room with a boat behind me, if I remember rightly, because I was in there uh, in Whitby at the time, you know. So, um, but look, so you you went to church, you went to choir, you went with the choir with your nana, uh, and you weren't the loudest singer. Your family were the loudest singers. You got overpowered a little bit. You're the quiet one of the family. Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. the baby of the family? No, no, not out of my brothers and sisters. I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest out of my brothers and sisters. Oh, are you really? Okay, so yeah. you're the one that's got to set the bar as to what as to what they what they need to do, yeah? Um, kind of, yeah, but they're all doing well to be honest, like in, in what they do. Do you get what, what I mean? They? Like they're all they, any of them singing? No, none of them sing. One of them plays football. One of them like Hang Profes on professionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. team does he play for? He played for York. He plays for York. Oh, York okay. Team. All right. A Guys, big I'm, I'm what's going on at the bottom here. <laughs> Double tap the screen. Good. Guys, if you're going to gift, gift on um, Lavelle's side, it's going to, what did you say it was going to? Autism Awareness. Autism awareness, autism awareness, a great, a great charity, guys. That's all we ever do on the on these interviews is all the money goes to the other creator and it goes to whatever charity they want to choose. So, okay, so you, you you've come out of church, you you sit, you've decided you want to sing at, at seventeen or eighteen, uh, which to me seemed it was only a couple of years ago, but it was like ten years ago for you. Wasn't it's it? not ten um, years ago. I thought God, it was only it was only a couple of years ago that, that happened, you know. Um, so what 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 was your next move then? Did you go and speak to your dad and say? Say dad or do you call him yeah, daddy or do you call him daddy yeah, or, or what yeah 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 i kind of just went and spoke to my dad started just being in girl bands and then when i was 22 i moved to london to be in a girl band and then i've kind of just and then i got pregnant and then i've just had a break do you get what i mean well, so hang on what girl break. band was it it wasn't the spice girls was it and you had to leave Ah, mate, can you imagine the Spice Girls? <laughs> if you want to be my lover, you could be Scary Spice. Tell you know you. What? I get that comparison a lot, you know. Do you really? Like, yeah, because she's from Leeds as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, I never thought of that, to be fair. That's true, I never thought about that. She's from Leeds and you're from... You didn't say you're from Leeds, or you said South Yorkshire. Yeah, Sheffield, Sheffield. Sheffield, that's what I thought, yeah. Sheffield. I don't have a clue what's going on in these comments. What's going know? on in your comments? <laughs> this is all time of... Yeah, just all type of stuff going on. Just let them get <laughs> like on with it. Let on. them get on with it. It's all good. It's all good. So okay, so you've you've done that. You've you've told your dad and you said, Dad, I want to be a singer. What was what was the next step? I mean, that that was ten years ago then. Yeah. So yeah. So I went. I went to my dad's studio. I was in bands. Um, like we just had like different girls. Like we just. Was just trying to be in a girl band. Yeah. And then um, I ended up moving to London to be in a girl band. I got scouted to be in a girl band. Yeah. So I moved to can London. You name, can you name the girl band? Can you name the girl band? Are you allowed to say what it's yeah, called? We, yeah, we were called Mis the Mistreats. So basically, what that girl band was, was basically my manager put us together to be like, basically, Warner were looking for like, a, almost like a tribute act, like, girl band so like you know like a girl band that goes on like cruise ships and like yeah yeah, yeah. Corporate events like but they might do like diana ross and the supremes or okay just whatever yeah. it is do you get what i mean so basically they was looking to put together a girl band that could go and do that so then they was going through girls going through girls and then they got to the final three and then they found me i went down and then we just basically it was like monday to friday nine till five we was just basically in like girl band 
boot camp and it was yeah, just yeah. like rehearsal, um, choreographer, eat, yeah. studio, eat, home, gym, eat, like, it was just like that, like Monday to Friday, wow, like, wow, and wow. they were just basically like training us into like, basically like how, just how you're supposed to do everything and just yeah. learning routines and whatever. So then we was doing that for about four weeks and it was all going well and we were getting really good. Like our harmonies were getting tight. Like everyone was just like, everyone was just, it was just Shelling looking together, better yeah, than everyone expected. Yeah. And then basically what happened was um, our manager, I basically told my manager that I wrote music and then one of the other girls said that she wrote, writes music. So then my manager was just like, all right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys in the studio and kind of see what you can like, what you can make kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah. So then when we've gone in the studio, we've all gone into our own studios and then um, we all came out with a song and everyone's song was good. So then my manager decided that he didn't feel like we were just a tribute act. He felt like we could actually be like our oh, own. Okay, act. yeah, I'm with you, I mean? yeah, yeah. So then basically what happened where, I think it was Warner Island, um, who was it? It was, it was Warner, Island, which is Universal, Cerner, and then Capital. They yeah. all came to see us. We did showcases for them all. So like basically like they came in, they sat down, we were on stage, we were performing like live to them. And then after all that, like they were all like offering us certain things, but then it was through that and through going with Cerner that we ended up going on Britain's Got Talent. So when we've had, uh, gone on Britain's Got Talent, we've gone on Britain's Got Talent because like they decided that that was going to be like the best way to like break the act or market the group because it was still in 2016, like before things really was going viral like that. And like TV was still like the main way to like yeah. break an act. Do you get what what I'm was saying? the band called? What was the group called? Uh, Mis the Mistreats. The, the Mistreats. M-I-S. Treats. <laughs> yeah on britain's got talent pgt yeah oh i found you i yeah. found it on youtube don't play it though because you'll get bananaed i know but i can i can see you on there look at that and i'm not going to play it i won't play it. i won't play it but anyway the sounds off sorry i had to see That's that because what... yeah yeah so um... anyway so anyway so we went on there we did that and then shortly after we went on there and did that i got pregnant so when i got pregnant oh, how did that happen while you're on tour because i you know had a long-term boyfriend at the time who i was with for eight years oh, wow. and you know yeah i got things pregnant. happen don't they things happen don't yeah, they things happen yeah absolutely wow, so happen. just so... at, the, at the wrong time it was the wrong time. Well, no, it's, it's turned out to be the perfect timing, actually. I'm very, very thankful for my son. And I was I just going to say, a, a child is never the wrong time, is it really? To right. Be right, that's so. Yeah. So anyway, so I had my son. And then obviously when I had my son, I kind of just, I stopped doing everything band related. Yeah. And I just focused on being a mom. And I was just absolutely insane. I was one of those insane everything must be organic and i must not sleep i must <laughs> sleep 24 hours watching the baby like i was one of them kind of moms like one of them crazy moms like like no. really oh really ott so over the top like just everything like i just was petrified of germs like i just everything had to just be perfect and and yeah. my son it was the product the prodigy wow yeah. to, do you know what i mean yeah, anyways. <laughs> why, why, why were you like that, though? Was there a reason behind that? Because my son is amazing. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> do you know what? Every mum thinks their son is amazing. No, That's true. every that mum can think, but my son is different. I'm telling you, that boy is going to change. The London. Room. with what well, I don't know what that is. What was that? It was a game of cyber mass. Thank you, my friend. London, I appreciate it. But look... I'd rather, I'd rather you give to Lavelle on the other side, but thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. I've give you a follow so we can have a chat. But I like that little head that came up on the screen. Lavelle, I'll give you that later. Don't worry, I'll sort that out. Um, okay, so, so all right, so how old? Your son's five, did you say? Yeah, so my son's five now. So basically, when my son um, was born, I just like the first two years, two and a half years, I was just at home with my son. Then I started to get back into songwriting. Thank you, um, London. Then I started to get back into songwriting and um, 
just was steadily doing that whilst being at home. And then basically my son started, because he was getting bigger, he was spending more time at his dad's because me and his dad split up. So oh, we've you got do 50-50, don't you? 50-50 yeah, yeah, today, yeah. yeah. So he's with his dad half the time. So as he started to be at his dad's more, obviously I started to have more free time. So I was Absolutely. allowed, I was able to spend more time in the studio. And then oh. just through being in the studio, um, I just kind of, everyone around me, and I just kind of felt like, you know, I'm going to have a crack at this before I get too old to have a crack at this. Do you get what I mean? I, you know what? I think it's amazing that you've got, let me just thank London. London, thank you for go, coming in my life. Thank, you, thank you for going into uh, the Vels live. I know you gave her a gift as well, which is brilliant. Thank you. Uh, everything that we're, we're taking while we're doing this interview is going towards uh, Lavelle's charity, which is Autism Awareness, which is brilliant. So, uh, but thank you. Uh, when, when, the, when the live's finished, uh, when the interview's over, you can come and give me no problem. Anything that's given during the live, uh, then we'll, we'll, that will go to Lavelle. So he's five. What's his name? Jaleel. Jilliam. No, Jaleel. Jaleel. Yeah, Jaleel. Jaleel, that's a great little name as well. I bet you he's a character. It's, uh, he is the best. He is oh, just the best, best ever. And you know? he is just the most precious thing you've ever seen. And he's just the best. And you're I just wouldn't change Stop him it, you're going to make me cry. You're going to make me cry. Stop no, it. No, honestly, do you know what? I wouldn't change him for the world. He's just the, he is just my purpose, and I just love him so much. And do you know what? Here's some things in life that you got to think about, and people don't really think about this, is when you have a child or when, when something happens in your life and you think, oh, my God, that I didn't want that to happen then because it's getting in the way. Things don't get in the way. Things happen for a reason yeah, and absolutely. things happen for that way because God made them that way and that's what's going to happen in your life and that's your path. But the end result is that you've got an amazing child. I right. bet you've got an amazing bond with him already as well. So you've got an amazing bond with him and you're still doing your music as well. You're still exactly. able to do your own and, thing. And he's here to witness the you know he's gonna go superstardom having... just say yeah, it the exactly. superstardom exactly. just say that's it. yeah exactly he's he's going to be here to benefit from everything do you get what i mean like there's no other there's no other like driving force than yeah. the fact that i have got to make sure that his life is the best quality that it can absolutely. be absolutely and that's what, you're, that's what your job is you get what i mean so so look what when you've done, you you obviously spoke to your dad you 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 signed you, you your son's got some time with his father so you've obviously got some time to yourself so you've then decided to start writing again i'm guessing yeah writing again i got back into sync music yeah, sync me. Why can I just ask? Why is your head right there, down there in the corner? There, you just like. Because I was just letting people read the <laughs> thing if they wanted to read it. They want to see you. They've seen that now. They want to see you. That's the important. Yeah, go on. There she is. Yeah, there, look, the you know, guys. I see you right in the corner. I thought when I put that on YouTube, she'd be like a little head in the corner, just tiny little thing in the corner. <laughs> um, but look, so what made you think? How many songs have you got um, released now? Then how many songs have you written? Um, they're not all released. Baby Boy was my first release. What? How, to, it's about how many songs did you write though? How many songs have you written? Hundreds. <laughs> That's what I mean. You, you've written enough for an album at least, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I've got yeah, but yeah. I'm, I'm, my album's not like. But I've written, yeah, I've definitely got albums with the songs. Definitely. So that's good. So, so you've got an album. But babe, when when you when you listen to Baby Boy, who was the first person that heard it heard it complete? Um, probably the producer. That not you. Was that not your dad? No, 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 no. My dad. No, I don't work with my dad. I haven't worked with my dad. I don't work with my dad like that anymore for years. Is I'm that is that a bit like like a, having having your father as a driving instructor? It's the worst thing that can ever happen. <laughs> no, you know what it is. I love I love working with my dad. It's just that I've kind of just gone off and done like he kind of taught me certain things to get to a certain point and then i've kind of just gone off and like took it further and because he, he's still doing his own stuff do you get what i mean i see uh, did he ever manage anybody or produce anybody quite famous then yeah he's produced on quite a few he's produced on quite a few big he's got quite a few cuts my dad like early 90s cuts like them you know like five and like um you know like them bands like e17 oh yeah 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 well he's got bits in those wowza I mean, 
Uh, Spencer, nice to see you, man. I'm sorry you've been bananas. Apologies for that, but you can be in here all you want, mate. It's all good. Uh, don't forget, guys, tonight is all about Lavelle. We're trying to find out a little bit more about it, to delve a little bit deeper. She is on the other side of the screen, either that side or that side. I'm not sure where it is on yours, but she's over there. Uh, she's got a new song out called Baby. Well, what number is in the charts at the moment, Lavelle? I don't know. I think it might have even... I don't know if it's even dropped off now. I haven't even looked. I've not even Wow, looked. okay. So it, it, was, it was released last Friday, and it hit number one. So she was literally... The South Yorkshire's answer to Beyonce, number one in the R and B charts. So I know. Look, at, here's here's a thing, right? I think you've got to aim high. I yeah. think you've got to decide that, and I think you're one of those people that doesn't want to just be. Um, who can I say that's really shit? <laughs> Who's not very good as a singer? I don't know. Somebody like, I don't know. I, I can't even think of anyone. Um, but Gabrielle's brilliant. I like Gabrielle. She's a great singer, isn't she? No, really? Gabrielle was hard. You can't great do singer, Gabrielle isn't she? like that. Can't, Gabrielle she's like really hard. cool, isn't she? No, but I think you've got to aim high. And and what you're doing is, is amazing. So can you sing Baby Boy live for us? Or? I definitely can't do that. My voice is absolutely not ready. Why? What do you mean? Have you got to, have you got to, go, have you got to do stuff like this? Oh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, I've got to warm up. Have. Of course, I, have. <laughs> I can play it though. Go on, I'll tell you what. Let, so, Lavelle is going to play Baby Boy for us. I will have to cut this bit out of the YouTube video because YouTube get a bit funny about music that gets played on there and they put it on copyright. So, uh, we'll put it out on this one. But, uh, Lavelle, you can introduce your song. Go on, you do it. Or do you want me to do it? Um, What do you want to. Are you, are you set up now? Because I've got to turn my laptop on. No, I've got, I've got, I've got the the bit that was on um, on your. Can you put it on Spotify? Oh yeah, I can. Actually, you know what? I can't realize I've got my other phone here. I can okay. do that. Yeah. Do that. Is it on Spotify? If I ask for it, will it be on? Um, have you got Alexa? Yeah, I've got it here. Yeah, yeah so um, so Alexa, play Baby Boy by Lavelle. Oh, let's go for it. If that comes on, I'm really well impressed now. You know, Alexa, play Baby Boy by Lavelle. Shuffling Baby Boy and similar songs on Amazon Music. Oh, yeah, it says explicit. <laughs> yes, yeah, it works. It's a rude word, isn't it? Um, a couple. Yeah, there's a couple. Guys, so what I'm going to play now is Lavelle by ba uh, Baby Boy by Lavelle. It is three minutes and thirteen seconds long. I'm not. I'm just going to play it till we get to the chorus of yeah, Baby well, Boy. Yeah. Lavelle's going to be here, so she might sing some of it just gently. She's going to get her voice <laughs> trained and know. ready. <laughs> oh, get my <laughs> right. Oh, it is a little bit out, isn't it? To be fair, you ready? So here we go. This is the song that is currently in the top ten jobs. You can go and buy. Where can they buy it, Lavelle? iTunes. Type in um, Lavelle Baby Boy. It's on iTunes for seventy nine p. Seventy nine p. That and is then, a steal. And, free, and whatever streaming platform you use, if you use Tidal, Amazon Music, Apple Music, or Spotify, you can go and save it and listen to it there as well. Wow, so guys, go and make sure you buy a copy of this song. I'm going to play it for you now. This is Baby Boy by Lavelle, and she is sat next to me here, not in the studio, but not far away. <laughs> so be my baby boy. Baby boy. So 
I think that is a number one banging tune. I think that is an amazing song, Lavelle. Big up yourself, Tom. I think that is amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> Everyone's in my life, in my chat going, oh, my God, she is so talented. That is amazing. Yeah. Some of the comments in there, what an amazing song. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. She's so talented. Wow. Uh, nah, man, big I, up everybody. Thank you, guys. Listen, just keep on supporting the movie. Absolutely. Oh, what? Oh, she got a phone call. I'll call you back. Who calls you in the middle of an interview? Oh, back, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I have to take a second to figure out what that was. Oh, Who does that anymore oh, with their phone? I mean, you don't get a phone like that anymore, do you? It's like that. But, yeah, but I was telling you I'm a <laughs> phone. Yeah, oh, dear, that's funny. <laughs> Guys, don't forget, if you want to go and buy Baby Boy, it's available on iTunes, Drizzle, all, the, all those other platforms, Apple and yeah, music. Just, just do Google Baby everywhere. Boy by Lavelle. This is Lavelle. It's going to be it's going to be number one. I think you've got an amazing future. And if that's your first song, can you sing like really soulful songs as well? Do you know what? I'm still kind of trying to figure out what I can do with my voice, to be honest. I don't feel like I've, I don't feel like I've hit like, I don't feel like I've hit my peak with my voice yet. I feel like I'm still kind of figuring out a lot to do with my voice but i feel like we're definitely getting there do you know what i mean so, so have you not done it have you not done any like i mean you said you've written like 200 songs or whatever have you not done any ballads or anything that's got like a big range in it i don't really do ballads you know like i just don't really do ballads i've got a couple of slower songs more like acoustic songs yeah but my stuff's all very like melodic it's all very like harmonies based big chorus structured like yeah, yeah. There's, it's not very, it's not very like Whitney Houston or Adele like long notes. It's very punchy. Oh, up I see. Okay, no, I like it. I'm not, I'm not knocking. I'm just saying it's a great, it's a great. If that's your style and your way, then that's brilliant. Um, but I, what's your next song that you're going to release? And what's the next one? The next song. Oh, I'm giving you an exclusive here, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> the next song that I think I'm going to be releasing is called number 42 get in just my exactly my age i love that number 42 get in that's i love the fact that she's picked that because it's my age it isn't my age at all by the way but i'll just i'll let you know that that's amazing number 42 what what does it go like can you give us like a little bit of a not don't have to sing it just give us some of the lyrics that you've written for that song I'll, I'll play a little bit of it for you <gasps> Guys, guys, this is an exclusive on Lord TT's TT podcast, as I like to call it. Lavelle is going to give us a little taste of her song that's called... Number 42. Number 42. If you take the four away, it becomes a number two. But let's not talk about that. Number 42. Where have you, where she's gone? Oh, she's sent a laptop. Love you guys. I'm just trying to put my laptop on. Guys, listen, here's what you need to do. Don't gift this side. Gift on that side. Uh, Lavelle is donating all the money tonight to uh, Autism Awareness. Uh, once I've finished my live tonight, uh, once I've finished this interview uh, and, and we finish with Lavelle in the nicest possible way, uh, then I'll be back to my normal battles. But for this one, we are oh, just going what? for it. Guys, I'm not going to lie. What? Not, my laptop's not even working. I think she's faking it so we can't hear it. No, she doesn't I, want us to hear well, it. Literally, guys, if everybody follows me, I play my unreleased music on here all the time. <laughs> yeah. But it's going to be called number 42, yeah? Yeah, number 42. I guys, you heard it here first. The next single to be released is going to be number 42. We didn't quite get the exclusive we were after, but we got there. We weren't far off it. We weren't far right. off it. This, yeah, this got told. Someone just said in the comments, you wrote it on live with us. I made the song on live. No way. Did you really? Yeah, and I did Baby Boy as well. I did that with Baby Boy as well. But while you were live? Yeah, literally. While I was on what live. is Baby Boy about? Baby Boy is about... Baby Boy is about... I just feel that in society now, I feel like because of how things are, women are forced into taking on very masculine roles within society in a sense yeah. of you know we've kind of got to like we've kind of got to like adopt this person not as men but like we've got to be independent and whatever whatever because of how society is now yeah. and i just feel like you know right now the music that a lot of people listen to is very you know anti-love and you know don't care about him and do you, know, do you, do you think it's a bit do you think it's a bit woke 
No, I wouldn't even say it's work. It's just very like do whatever you want. Whereas me, I'm quite old fashioned. Do you get what oh, I mean? I like so that, I, yeah, okay. I very much like the idea of being in love and yeah. the, do you know what I mean? I'm just very like old fashioned. Do you get what being I mean? Look, being yeah. looked after and someone opening the door for you and, and just being yeah, yeah. And, having din- and having tea on the table at a certain time and all it's these. It's not tea, of it's dinner, work. guys. You don't want you to talk no, about it's what? dinner. It's no, dinner. What? Let's not tea. Yeah. <laughs> That one. I'm from Liverpool, so it's tea for me as well. To be fair, but now I've lived here that long, it's definitely dinner and it different dinner now. Dinner so is you it got... dinner time. The dinner is it dinner time at twelve o'clock? So what's lunch? That? That's lunch. No, it's dinner. Sorry. <laughs> Let's not have that debate. Anyway. Let's not have that debate. Okay, so so number forty two is your next next song that's going to come out. We can all look forward to that one, which is great. And. Um, how do you feel that this got this song got to the moon on Friday night when you looked at the figures and you looked at where you were? How did you feel when that happened? Um, I just couldn't believe it to be honest. I was just absolutely in shock. I just was just like, I didn't think it was real to be honest. I had to refresh it about six times to make sure it was real. Oh, were you on your own at the time? I was with my friend. I was with one of my best friends. Oh, and I, uh, and I, I, I looked at it because at first it weren't showing up on iTunes. It was just showing up on Google. So I Googled UK R&B iTunes chart and then I pressed it. But it said it said it had refreshed like an hour ago and it was only quarter past 12. So I knew it had only been out for 15 minutes. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I refreshed yeah. it. And then when I refreshed it, I seen it. I seen my name at the top. I seen it, it said Laval Baby. But I was like, oh, I was like. And then I turned the phone to my friend and I said, Fab, what does that say? And she's like. <laughs> <laughs> so so can i ask how many you need to sell to get to number one i don't even know i don't, I don't oh know. really you don't even know how many you've got to go to get there no, or to I stay know. there i don't know well let's know. let's hope other people have heard it tonight and other people are, are going to buy it okay. i will post a little a little clip of this on is your song on on tiktok as a as a sound yeah, it's on there as an official so, oh that's another thing that i wanted to say as well you lot so basically like on the sound that i had with baby boy before it had like 60 70 videos on there but then yeah. when the song got uploaded to dsps basically it's done something to the copyright so all them videos like only some of them can be saved the rest of them they're not lost but they're just when you click on the sound it doesn't take you to the sound it they're just in, they're in limbo copyright. yeah they're in yeah, limbo. okay yeah so everyone's well, ever done content to it the content's in limbo now now, but now let's, the proper sound do it again. post it on the sound it was, it, it was a speeded up one that you had on before if i remember rightly is that right yeah that was because the original one got took that got muted when i yeah. uploaded it to the sps do you get what i mean so oh, yeah, okay, until yeah. i had that i just thought let me put that up so there's something up do you get what i mean so look yeah let's let what what's your ultimate goal what what are you what what's your end goal what what's your vision now baby boy's done really well Obviously, you've got another one in the, in the, in the in the works already. Anyway, you've got to bring them out quick and fast, haven't you? You got to make sure that people have got an appetite for what you want. And they obviously have. So, what is your next step, and what what's your ultimate goal? Um, my next step is to just keep knocking out bangers. Keep trying to, you know, get better every time. Trying to break the last record every time. Yeah. And you know, the end goal is to build a financially free future via my music yeah absolutely that is brilliant i I love that what what would you ever collaborate with anybody and if if you want to collaborate with somebody who would you want to collaborate with um what from the uk or from america all right okay let's do two questions let's do uk and then america um uk i would love to collab with bella oh okay Yeah. yeah yeah um flo dave um america i would love to collab with tiana taylor her jasmine sullivan wow okay so you've got you've obviously got no know where you want to go and know where you want to are you have you have you contacted these people already no why would you say that but no i'm just saying why would you not what you you know to manifest your future sometimes you've got to just send a little instagram message hi Got number one in the UK, you know. Do you want? Do you want to get together and have a little chat? Well, That's how you manifest these things, isn't it? 
You just never know what the future is going to hold. I mean, I feel like, you know what I mean? I feel like right now I've still got a lot of points to prove. I feel like I'm only one song in and everyone's probably going to want to see if I can do it. Like, do you know yeah, what I mean? You never know if it's just one good song or if it's like, that, oh, this is the person actually good. I think exactly. it's going to take like three, four songs before everyone thinks, yeah, I'm good. Do you get what I mean? And then after that, hopefully. I think you go from the first one. I think if that's your first song, if that's your first song that you're going to put out there to the, to the world, you can. I think you. I think you've done really well already. Anyway, I think you're you're already a superstar to me. So oh, I think you've done really you. well. Thank you, Tom. Uh, that, that's it's all good. Easy. Right, look, Lavelle. Here's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave with this. Okay, so you can have the final say. It, if you could say to somebody that was maybe thinking of getting into the music industry or that was gonna wanted to start singing, uh, and maybe they sing in the shower and they, they, the family said they've got a good voice. What 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 advice would you give them to start their career i'm not gonna do the battle by the way we're, we're gonna because we're gonna end in a sec anyway yes. so um i would say i would say just make just perfect yourself until you feel ready to step out and then as soon as you feel ready to step out you know just find your local open mic i mean try and get involved in your local music scene send messages to like people for studio time maybe yeah. do you get what i mean like just do stuff like that really you just gotta like grow it from there or do you know what i mean get really really good at something on tiktok and learn how to monetize it do you know what i mean try and make wow. something go viral or something yeah. and do you know what i mean try and do it that way because it's doable wow. now do you know what i mean absolutely yeah well that's how that's how sam Ryder got uh got his gig at uh, the eurovision because he's uh yeah he, he he was singing his his living room on TikTok for a year and a half so uh, yeah look Lavelle I think you've got an amazing future and I know you don't like me saying it, but I think you could be UK's answer to Beyonce uh, <laughs> at some point in the future so I think <laughs> keep up the good work wow. and if you want to chat to me again feel free what I'd like to say to you before we go is when you're superstar famous and I send you a message for a little interview on my TikTok channel, you've still got to say yes, okay? Right, that's a Tom. Don't worry, I've got you. I've got you. Right, hey, Lavelle, look, have a great evening. Thank you for taking I know, uh, thanks for taking the time to come on. Yeah, it's been Tom, great speaking to you. It's been a pleasure, you. love. It's been a pleasure. Wonderful. Send me, the, right. send me the video when you post it. I will do. I'll let you know All when right. it's up and when it's up. Okay, love. Take right, it bye, easy. Tom. Thank you. Bye. 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 That was Lavelle, singer of Baby Boy. She was lovely, wasn't she? I'm gonna listen. To, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna listen to that one that she did on. Uh, let's listen to what she did on uh, on Britain's Got Talent. Hang on.